Hello all, in this video I show you how to use the register bit shift function in the Mitsubishi Mails of GX Works 2 and using a HMI screen GS2107. Hello and welcome back, this is Gerd Seller from Seller Press Control Systems and off we go. All right, as you can see, I already do have the program set up because the screen is um, taking quite some time to set it up. And I will show you the individual steps. And first of all, I will show you the result of this bit uh, shift function. And it just goes as follow. Um, as you can see here, I do have the most left bit is set to um, the condition one. And if I just push the shift right, all the um, conditions from the individual bits will move one position to the right. So if I push that button, you will see it goes over to the right. And also I have it set up to an output, which you can see later on. I push it again the whole status will move one to the right and if I switch on the next um, the bit number 15 again you will see it moves over just in the condition it is always by one bit to the right okay so this goes over all the way to the bit zero and then it will open and then it will disappear eventually because it doesn't take over to the next word or to the next register and it will just set everything to zero. All right, so that's it. And then on, if we go to the left shift, it will be the same thing. Okay, so how did I do it? Mm, I think think first of all I will switch no I do not have to switch the simulator off in the program itself in the GX works 2 I set up a fx5u CPU and if you go over to the right side you will find the instruction SFR which says uh, bit switch um, bit shift right and the FSL, which says bit shift left. And it always moves the condition one over to the left or to the right, just as you can see here. And I use the, D, the register, just the D100. This is really doesn't matter which one you use. And here you can also see the watch window. You can see the condition. And if I push the um, M101, which I got linked to the GOT, to the HMI. It will just shift over to the right and you will see the individual bits from the register D100 changing over by one. And usually in the automation sector, uh, word is written and read from the right side. So on the right side is your lower bit and on the left side is your higher bit. So as you can see on the screen here, the most right bit is the bit zero and the most left bit is the bit F or the 15. And what we have to watch out is that in the CPU in a GX works, it's written in hexadecimal. The uh, register is written in hexadecimal and the outputs are written in octal systems. So we have to watch out. Um, hexadecimal is from zero to nine and then the bit 10 is A and it goes all the way over to F. And the output being in hexades, uh, in, in octal, sorry, will be from 0 to 7. And then it will start from 10 
to 17. So we do not have an 8 and a 9. Um, basically, that's it for the, for the basic function. Um, what's going to happen if I set one bit on here? You can see the bit is set. And um, if I shift it over to the right, always the, the, the bit number 15 will be set to zero automatically. So I shift it over, everything shifts over in the condition it is to one bit further right. If I set this register again, we will see it changes over again. So the whole thing always moves over to the left, to the right side by one. And also to the left by one. You can see this on, on the M100, which is linked to the shift right, and the M101, which is linked to the shift left. Okay, so for the program in the uh, GX works, that's all you see right here. That's basically all. And um, the way you're gonna use this is probably if you want to fill a bottle or if you want to monitor the status. And let's say on this three uh, bits, we got a bottle right here, which is being filled all the way through. And the next one will be, there will be no bottle on here. So the bottle will not be filled here and this will go all the way through. There will be no liquid in the bottle until we detect a bottle again on any inputs of the um, CPU. And that means here we will be filling a bottle with water or probably beer or whatever it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. The same thing, if you if you move to the right, you can set the register on the bit zero and then move it to the left. It is the same thing. It's working exactly the same. It always moves its actual status over by one bit. Okay, that's it. Um, just for a quick reference, I will show you what I did in the... Um, GT designer that's pretty simple. I made a um, button that I can show you on here that's done in the object switch and then you just take a bit switch, put it on here, make it the size you just prefer and just put a device in here like I did M100 and um, you got to tell it what you want it to do. You can momentarily set it. So that means the bit is is on as long as the switch is actually pushed. Then you can set it with a switch or you can reset it with a switch and you can alternate it also with the switch. And then I just put a text in here, which um, either way, just like say, this is bit one or whatever, bit zero the color choose the color and then you can see the switch is set right here let's just delete that and the same is with the status light mm, the status light is also in the objects the lamp bit lamp just set it drag it to the size you want it and do the same thing Put the device in here like the D100 point um, B15 and the difference from the HMI to the CPU to the GX works is in the HMI the system the, the word goes from the B0 to the B15 and in the CPU, it will go from 0 to F, like hexadecimal. So actually in the, in the HMI, the first bit on the most right side will be the B0. 
and then it will be the B1 and it will go decimal all the way to the bit 16 which is B15 because we always start at zero. And then you can see again the same with the outputs. It's the same bit switch where I, um, the same bit lamp where I just put the device Y0 in. And just beware that it is made in octal outputs like I write it on here. And it goes from 0 to 7 to the Y7 and then it will start, the next byte will start at the Y10 to 17 and then so on from 20 to 27 and so on and as it comes how to set the uh, bit for the monitoring I made this switch right here which I put to alternate and if you if you choose the alternate function whenever you push you change the status from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 from low to high and from high to low and I can also show you this on here again. So if I push this button that you can that is on the simulator on here, if I push it once, it will go high. And if I push it again, it will go low. And also we can see that in the CPU, just one second. Mm. So the beast, the, the bit zero is the D100.0. So if I push that, it will not go high. Um, I don't have the monitoring on, sorry. There it is. All right, so again, put the simulator and watch the D0. If I push the button, I alternate it to zero. If I push the button again, I alternate it to high. And the same with the 15, which is the F hexadecimal. You can see that here it changes on and off regarding to the alternating of the switch that I got set in the GT designer. And if I move it all the way to the right, for example, You can see it all goes all the way up by one. And then if it's all the way through, we got all the bits set to zero. And if I want to move, want to make a shift right, I push this button here and I set the D100 point F, which is the bit 15 in the GT designer, which you can see right here on this um, button here it's the B15 and somewhere um, you can switch on the status where here there is the, the switch where you can actually um, switch on whether you want to see the, the devices or not so with this button up here on the task on the on the mm, function menu you can switch the devices on and off so you can actually see which device refers to which button and which light all right so that's it for the bit shift right and bit shift left function in the GX works from Mitsubishi using a CPU FX5U. Thank you for watching and bye bye.